In this tutorial video, we're going to go over the basics of placing your assets into a brand new Doodly video. When you first open Doodly, you have this My Videos page. Click on Create New Video. Select a background style and give your video a title. At this point, you can select your resolution if you'd like, or you can do that when you're getting ready to export it. I'm going to go ahead and choose the one I want and click Create. We're now in the main Doodly interface where we have a blank video ready to go. Now I'm going to be making a short video about a veterinarian. So I'm going to look at the pre-made scenes and see if I can find a scene that's already built that will work nicely for my video. These are a great starting point. Everything's already in place and you can build on them from there. I like this one. It looks kind of like it could be a veterinarian's office. I've got a receptionist and a patient waiting. I don't have a pet, so I'm going to need to add a pet to it. And what's neat about these scenes is everything is individual, right? So you can move things around. You can delete items. Maybe you don't want a plant. So you just click the item, click the garbage can, and then confirm by clicking OK. You'll see over here all of the items are listed in the Actions panel. So you can select them that way. You can adjust their position within the scene by moving them forward or backwards. So if I wanted her in front of the desk, I'd move her down here. And of course that looks dumb because she belongs back there, so I'm going to put her back. You can also use these little icons here to move characters forward or backward and props as well. And then if you want to replace a character, you can either just go ahead and delete the object by clicking the delete can, or you can just select the person or prop and replace them with someone else. So I'm going to go to characters and I'm going to search for somebody that's sitting down by typing in the word sitting and I get some options here. You'll notice here's my original character and here's Jane here sitting. So I don't want her so I'm going to find another character. You'll notice these marked with a D. These are available in Doodly. Um, Enterprise as part of the Doodly Club. So if you just have the standard version, you're not going to see as many options as I have here. Okay, so I like Jacob. He's He looks a little more casual than this other lady. And I think that would be great for a veterinarian situation. Now you'll notice I'm being prompted to replace the image. So yes, I'm going to click yes, I want to replace. So that replaced her with Jacob. And you'll notice he's facing the wrong way. So right here, I'm going to click this icon and flip him. And then just resize him so that he looks about the right size for the scene. Next, we need a cat. So I'm going to click Props. And I'm going to enter cat in the search bar. And I think this cat right here will be perfect. So I just clicked him and he's here. You also drag and drop him. And then I'm just going to resize the cat and place them next to the owner. And that looks great. Now over here again in the actions panel, you're going to notice that there's a delay of zero and a duration of three seconds for each of the items in this panel. So what does that mean? Well, it means that each one is going to come in right after the other. There's no delay between them because it's zero seconds and it's going to take three seconds for each item to be drawn by the hand. So it's going to go the wall first because it's on the top. And it's going to take three seconds to draw it. Then the cabinets, it's going to take three seconds to draw them. Then the chair, again, another three seconds. Then the woman and so on and so forth. So if we take a look at it, that's what's happening. Three seconds, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, and so on. 
you'll notice down here in the timeline it's about 30, 33 seconds long. So if you want to speed that up a little or maybe you want to slow something down a bit depending on what your voiceover is going to be, you can do that and I'll show you how. You'll do that by adjusting either the delay or duration of your items. For example, let's say we want the background part to be pre-drawn. We don't want to have to see the hand draw every single item. So we're going to just have all of these have a duration of zero. Just go in and you type zero. You notice how my scene is shrinking in length down below in the timeline? Okay, so I've just saved about 30 seconds worth of drawing right there. And if we take a look at the preview, only the patient and his cat are drawn by the hand. And it takes place in about six seconds as opposed to 33 seconds. So that's one way to adjust the timing of your scene. But what about the delay? What is that? What's an example of that? So let's say we have a veterinarian and we want him to come in after a few seconds once these guys are drawn. So let's go ahead and find a veterinarian. I'm going to go in, I'm going to type doctor, and you'll see we have some doctors. Here's one with a dog, so I like that. So let's bring her in. I'm just going to add her because I don't want to replace what I have selected, so I'm going to click no add. Maybe we'll just have her come in over here and resize the scene. So let's say that we have a voiceover once the man and the cat are drawn. And let's say that's going to take five seconds to be spoken. So what I want to do is say five seconds right here in the delay. So if we hit the scene preview, here comes the patient, here comes the cat. And then now I have about five seconds to talk before my veterinarian comes in. And here she comes. So that's how delays work. So that's the basics of working with your scenes, characters, and props. In the next video, we'll go over adding additional scenes, voiceover, music, and other elements to your whiteboard video. <laughs>